Guys, so I just filmed the first coin grab bag. I have all the stuff set up here. Well, these weren't from the grab bag. Those V-nickels, the ones, the Naked Day of V-nickels were not from the grab bag, just saying. Because those were ones from the beginning of the video. So, yeah, let's get on to the coin pirate and welcome back for another video. So I just opened up the first grab bag. We have all the stuff there. And now, we're going to get into the second one. So, I'm just going to make sure, okay, everything is down there. Just to make it easier. There. I'm just going to try ripping the bag right there. Okay, so it's all in this mini bag now. So let's... I can see some stuff in there already. So let's pull something out. Here's a wheat penny. A 30 S. I think that's definitely worth more than 30 cents. That's pretty cool. 31 S is a key date. So I'm just going to reach down the bottom and grab some loose coins. Here's a 10 Fennig from Germany. 1970. Here's an Italian coin from 1954. Not sure what this is. Oh, it's a casino token. Here's a 50 something that's from Spain, 1957. Not gonna try to pronounce that's from 1999. It's not from 1919, it's a commemorative thing. 90 years, not really sure where it's from. Everything's in another language. This should be... Oh, it's a Balboa. I thought it was going to be a Philippines coin. Let me just turn down the lighting a little bit. Yeah, you can see it better there. That is from 1973. Here's 1961 five centavos. And a New Zealand coin to something from 1974. So let's just grab, I see some coins here in the corner. Jamaica 1972, there's another one of those coins. Guys, we might, we do, we have silver. That's a Canadian quarter. I don't know if you can see. It's a 55. That is a Canadian silver quarter. I'm not sure what percentage these are, but that is really cool. Here's a 1917 hold coin. It says 10 millimeters. Well, milli, milli mess. That must mean millimeters. But that's a 1917 coin. Here's a five cents from Jamaica. Here's a couple of coins. This one's from 1966, one fennig. And 1950, ten fennig. We have a 1917 coin with a hole in it. And a Canadian silver quarter. That alone is probably worth five dollars. Let's see. So we still have some more stuff. Let's grab a few flips. Oh, along with this coin. 1954. Here's a 47 Denver wheat penny. Here's a couple more wheat pennies. 36 S and a 47 S. Here's a 48 D. That one's kind of damaged. And here's a Krona something. Whatever it is. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. Here's some more coins, so let's just see what else we have. I'm going to go for these. Here's a hundred something for like Japan. Here's a five euro cent. Here's a cruise. Yeah, it looks like a cruise token. And 1962 and 1955 Fennig. 
let's just grab the flips out of here. Yeah, let's just go through the flips. 1936, 1925, 1919 S, that's pretty cool, and 30 Denver. Now we have some more coins left in here. Let's just dump all these out. I think I saw a really old coin and one of those other coins just flew away. A 54 sixpence, that's not silver or anything. Here's an old coin, a 1910 British half penny. Here's an aluminum coin. I think it's from Italy. A 20 something. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. A 1963 young head Canadian. Another. Japan coin, a 50 centimes from 1941, and a 50, 1950 one fennig. Then we also have this, it's from 1962, not really sure what it is though. Probably from, oh it's from Czechoslovakia, that was going to be from Italy. There's a 1974 not really sure what that is again. Here's a no cash value good luck token. One Fennig, 1969. 1961 cent. The love of liberty brought us here from Liberia. A uh, casino from Detroit, actually. Token. And a British one penny. That was really cool. So that is our last coin grab bag. But look at what we got. That's, yeah. So we got some older coins in here from the 50s and 40s. But, actually I'll put this here too. So, yeah, we got some pretty cool stuff here. I'll actually put this here too. So we got two casino tokens. We got a 1963 Young Head Canadian. I'm going to save these for last. We got a 48D, 47S, and 47D wheat cent. Well, wheat cents. And then all of these wheat cents are pre 40s 30S, 30D, 36, 25, a 1919S, and a 36S. And then the finds of the hunt were this 1917 hold coin from somewhere. Probably Japan or China. Actually looks Arabic, the writing. And then the British half penny from 1910. These are my two favorite finds here. And the silver Canadian quarter from 1955. These two coins alone, well actually three, are worth a decent amount of money. Those are by far my three favorite finds. So yeah, and then we also got that good luck token. The cruise token. And yeah, that's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. I know I did. Yeah, I'm just going to be back with the value on the Canadian quarter, the half penny, and this hold coin just to see what they're worth. Guys, I looked it up. So this Canadian quarter is 80% silver. I couldn't remember whether it was 80 or 90. And that's where we're around like three seventy to four dollars. And then this isn't worth that much, but is the oldest coin we got the nineteen ten oh British half penny. And then we have this nineteen seventeen coin. It's actually from Egypt. And yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's, it's worth around a dollar or two, so 
Yeah, plus if we go with the values on these, so let's just say this is 350, so I'll value it kind of low. And this is round another dollar fifty at two dollars. So yeah, just between this stack, we have around five dollars. That so total that was worth way more than five dollars. That's really cool. That was definitely the best grab bag out of the two. One of my favorite coins is this one. The love of liberty brought us here. One cent from Liberia. With the ship and the island. That's pretty cool. So we're going to put these back in here. So this is total. What we got in the grab bag just for an overview. That's not bad at all. For $5. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.